While walking down 6th Avenue, I wished all the chaos surrounding me would disappear. I wanted to replace it all with the clip-clop of horseshoes on a cobblestone street. Women in skirt suits and picture hats. Men wearing bowlers and waistcoats. Maybe I'd pass Olive on her way to one of the department stores. My plan was to see a fashion show at the Siegel Cooper department store. Back in the 80s, this stretch along 6th Avenue was known as the Ladies' Mile because of the profusion of grand emporiums that served the wealthy. But fine ladies no longer pulled up in Victorias driven by white breech grooms or promenaded down the avenue to be seen in their elegant gowns. These days, if well-heeled New Yorkers braved 6th Avenue, they had to contend with the multitudes who poured in from all the boroughs on trolleys, buses, and the L-trains rumbled overhead on monstrous steel tracks. I came to the beautiful Beaux-Arts building that had once been the Siegel Cooper department store. Glorious as any monument from ancient Rome, the massive block-long building still radiated magnificence. Something up on the arched entranceway caught my eye. A crest, like a coat of arms, engraved with the letters S and C. Siegel Cooper! I'd never noticed before, even though I'd walked by a zillion times. It felt like a message to me personally. Who else in recent history had noticed those initials up there? Who would care? The past, right here in our midst, and we were so utterly oblivious going about our days worshipping the present, as if the generation of now was the only one that mattered. I do wonder what someone from the future might think of us simpletons living at the turn of the century. Perhaps the day will come when women exist in the world as equals to men. If only I could be alive long enough to see it. <laughs>